Okay, welcome to another video, and today I'm, I am going to be showing off my Holden Commodore Kelly from 1998. Well, technically 1997. And also, whoa, it's not a video where I'm making a car? Oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I, I started building this, and I was like, oh my god, this, this, this should be in a video. Because it's, it, whew, it's pretty close. It's, I bet that it's not exact, but I was just pretending to know what I was doing. I didn't look up at any specs. But yeah, if you want to, I'm just going to flick through what I've done. So it is a V6. I don't know if this is correct or not, but 3.8 liter, which I'm, yeah, the 98, it would have been 3.8 liter. I, I don't know if this is right or not. Yeah, anyway. Ooh. So I did something wrong. I'm pretty sure I had ha a harmonic dampener. Eh, that's close enough. How much power did, did... How much power did these things make? Uh. Horsepower. 3.8 liter IV6 executive 207 horsepower. That's close enough. Okay. And I'm I'm just pretending that these are all right. It was injection, I know that. I don't know if it was like all this stuff. But yeah. I'm just I I, I was just pretending to know what I was doing. Standard old V6 motor. Now, boom! I can bring in some references. As you can see, the rear tail lights—it's it's like a big piece of plastic, and it curves around. I, I couldn't find. This is the best body I could find. It's not perfect. It's way too. It's way too square. But as you can see, that's the best I could get it. So, yeah. But the back, it, it looks pretty similar. Yeah. Hopefully you can see that image good, but... Yeah, it's pretty close. This one doesn't have a wing. Or a spoiler, yeah. But it's pretty close. We got the tow bar. The wheels are a bit different, but that's fine. Now the front, um, where's the car with a good, for clear image, there we go, so that's the front of one of these, I couldn't match it exactly, but I'm pretty happy with what I got, I got that front, front bit, pretty close, I think that might be a hole on the original, but that's alright, I like how I got the fog lamps, Real nice. But yeah, that's that's basically the car. Rear wheel drive, five speed. Was it a five speed? Um, let's see. Four speed. Okay, so there we go. Automatic four speed. Yeah, let's. There we go. That's good enough. 40, let's, yeah, whatever. What else do I need? Did, I'm pretty sure it was an LSD. Probably. I'm just leaving it on the, yeah, tires doesn't matter. Brakes, I'm just gonna say that it was all of these. Yeah, premium interiors. Because it was Calais top of the line. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the car. And I forgot to change one thing. How do I go free camera? Oh. Okay, how do I... Oh, WSD. Okay. 
As you can see, I put this weirdo thing here. I wasn't supposed to, but now I can't grab it. Oh, there we go. Let's delete that. This interior is not, is not correct. I'm gonna show you an interior. Interior. That is what the real interior looks like. It's, um, it's quite different. I couldn't find a interior that matched, so I just left it. Oh well. But somewhere, is there gauges? I want, I want a camera so I can see. I don't care, this is the best interior I've ever made because I haven't made one before. Miscellaneous? Ah, here it is. Driver export cam. 3D. I'm not sure which way it should go. Ah, that, that, that'll be fine. Let's make it, make it like you're driving the car. I wish I made this, this whole thing a video, but oh well, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's probably about where your head's gonna be. We can ignore that. Anyway, let's um, export this and I'll be back. Back and beam. Okay, here we are. And what better place to test out this car than Pound, Pound, Mano, Mount Panorama. Oh yeah. That first. I'll just drive out of this thing. It's an auto. I do have the steering wheel set up. So if my driving's terrible, that's my excuse. But here it is. The Commodore Calais. Yeah. Let's put it in park. Now, in beam, I think it looks pretty good. Proportions, maybe this top bit's a bit too... So, well, this whole body wasn't right. But for just some recreation, some terrible recreation, I think it's alright. Mm. Oh, let's see if the camera works. Ho ho ho, I'm driving. There we go. I wanted a T-bar auto, because I just think it's funny. Yeah, it's pretty nice. For like, my standards, it's pretty nice. It's not accurate, but I don't care. But yeah, let's um... Reset. Okay, let's drive this thing. Oh, I, I was gonna say 3, 2, 1, but I guess we're started. I don't know, should I drive this like a auto? Yeah, I should. Okay, I didn't spin out on that first... I didn't spin out on that first corner, so... I think that's pretty good. Let's see, it's... It's not that... I was gonna... It's not that slow, that's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. It's driving pretty well. Oh, it's break. Whoa. Nearly lost it through there. But it's pretty grounded. Like, it's easy to drive. Could do with a bit more power through there, but it's just the V6. Now, you might, might be run... You might be wondering why I did a V6, not the V8. The V8 is just a baller. Baller Calais. This is just... Yeah, it's it's nice. But... Yeah, no. Also, V8, too much power. I'd be skidding around everywhere. Also, I'm not a good driver, so... I, w I don't even know how I'm I don't even know how I've gotten this far without crashing. Ooh, that nearly went. Come on, shift up. 
There you go. I meant shift down, but whatever. Automatic. A manual would be better. Ugh, ABS, come on, save me. I don't know if the original car had ABS. I'm pretty sure it did, but anyway. Come on. Down the long straight. How fast can we hit? 190. Come on, can we hit 200? 200 kilometers an hour, oh yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty fast. Breaking, I always, I always overcooked this one, and I overcooked it then. Not by much, but I did. So, that's not very good, but... Oh, I should have been timing this. Oh well. Breaking hard. Probably didn't have to go that slow, but... And across the line. Oh, I paused. I meant to, um... Yeah, hit the handbrake. Oh. Well, anyway... Hmm... That's a good idea. If I build more cars, I can run them around this track and time it. Ooh, and I videoed it, which means I can just time it more accurately. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's reset this. Now I don't know what to say anymore because I was just showing this off, but yeah, it's pretty close. Drives well. Oh, oh I, I just, I just, you didn't see that. Here we go. I just imported the car to America. And we're just going to drive around the highways and see how it feels. Oh, that's park. I keep thinking it's a manual. Oh, well. Come on, drift. I want to try to drift this thing. It should do. Just, just stop looking. There we go, I did it. I did a full 360. Did you see how smooth that was? Oh, it's not a manual. <laughs> I keep forgetting that. So it's a... It's a four speed. That's not going too badly. I kicked it out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to reset and then I'm going to um go down the highway, see how stable it is. So the normal Australian speed limit, at least for around where I live, it's 110 kilometers, which is um, something miles an hour. Okay, so here at 113, it's actually very smooth. It's not too loud. Yeah, just cruising through. I'm proud of my work. Could be better, but I like it. I I meant to do that. Okay, goodbye.